Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Today we are going to tackle the secret MJ-12 facility, so let's get started. Right off the bat we have a visitor. I came to watch you die. You're early. I've got at least 20 hours left. I was hoping the kill switch would have started. I don't feel anything. You won't be able to hide it for long. What have you done with Paul? Same as anything that malfunctions. Same as you. So once Anna leaves... I need you to escape. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. Get ready. Our primary goal, by the way, is escape from the Majestic 12 facility. But who is Daedalus? You'll notice that we still have our credits, but the rest of our inventory is gone. this guy first. Got our trusty baton back at least. Although it's not so much our trusty baton as it is a trusty baton. He'll wander back this way eventually, I think. We'll just need to take him down. I'm not sure exactly what his patrol route is. Perfect. He went for the alarm. And in doing so, gave us a perfect chance to take him down. I have no use for that knife, but I will keep the pistol on me for now. So as far as the cells, we'd need a multi-tool to get in there where that med bot is. Same with that one. That live uh, NSF soldier is... his name's Miguel. We will get out with him eventually. Sounds like someone else is in here, though. I heard I footsteps. I have nothing. Repeat, nothing here. There's a camera over in that corner, that's why I'm not moving in on him now. This one we can get into. Of course, there's not much to be had. A couple, bo couple pieces of so or packets of soy food, but... It'll give me 10 health points, which is, you know... Better than zero. Where did that go, anyway? Okay. My left arm is now my only injury. And inside there, we've got a riot prod. The good news is we they also didn't take our ammo. So once we find a weapon, we have all the ammo for it that we did have. There's another knife up here. Some of these are unlocked. Pistol ammo, a multi-tool. 40, which I'll drink just for the health. Now this one will need a lockpick, which we still don't have. Now I could use a multi-tool on one of these, but I'm going to hang on to it for now because I don't think there's anything good in either one of these. Let me make sure of that, though. <laughs> Well, he had a PS20 and two lockpicks. That probably is worthwhile. Actually. Of 
course, it leaves our friend Miguel in the lurch. Now, can open this up. Get another multi tool. Let me see if there's any reason we need to open Miguel's cell right now. You're the spy they caught, right? I never worked for the NSF, but my brother did. I think he was captured too. You're definitely not the only prisoner. I heard noises down the hall. Good. Maybe I can find him. Let's get out of here. I smuggled in a knife and a med kit too. You want the med kit? Yeah, I'll take the med kit. What do you say? I think we can make it. I'd rather that you wait here. Let me know when the coast is clear. Miguel will definitely die if you try to send him out, but I'd like to I'd like to save him, so I'll have him wait. Oh, we didn't need to use those multi-tools at all. Oh well, we've still got our full complement of 20 multi-tools and lockpicks waiting when we get our gear back. Anyway, the data cube says, Lieutenant Jackson, a failed intrusion attempt into LabNet has unfortunately scrambled other key systems, requiring most of the security grid to be reset. Until the grid is fully restored, the detention block door code has been reset to 4089, while all detention cells have been reset to 4679. You will be notified when the situation has been fully resolved. Agent Sherman. Pistol ammo on the desk. As far as the camera goes, we're just going to need to get under it. And then out. Transmitting the floor plan. All of your equipment has been stored in the armory to the south. Paul Benson is alive in the laboratory to the north, but has a damaged info link. You must inform him of the escape. Tracer Tom will require his data vault in order to defeat the kill switch. So getting out of the detention block gives us 250 skill points. And we've got new goals. The primary, first primary goal, find your brother and access information in the state of all that Tracer Tog will need to defeat the kill switch. The secondary goal is find the equipment taken from you when you were captured by Unatco. Good news is Paul is alive. I was a little bit worried because he disappeared, but I was right. In order to keep Paul alive, all you have to do is make sure that you leave the Ton Hotel through the front door. If you escape out the window, Paul will be dead and you'll still have to find him in the morgue. Look at the image he gave us. We started here in detention. So if we go straight around here, we'll end up in the command center. Out past there is a checkpoint, and this is the eventual exit. If we... Th uh, the other exit from the command center will take us to the nanotech lab. Up here is the containment chamber and the medical lab. That's where we can find Paul. If we turn right here out of detention, we'll have to go through robot maintenance, and then past that we'll find the armory. On the upper level, the nanotech lab, robot maintenance, and armory all have second floors, and robot maintenance also has a lower level. Oh, and I never looked at this image, it's just an image of NSF headquarters, which I guess Paul gave to us in the last mission. So I'm gonna hit the armory first, which requires me to sneak through robot maintenance. Which is not nearly as frightening as it might sound. Don't worry. What's my total skill points? 3313. I could raise pistol to advanced, but. I think I'll raise low tech to master first, and then raise pistol, and then. for the security bots. The armory is to the south, on the opposite side of the main chamber. Well, I guess at each phase I'll just need to evaluate my lockpick and multi-tool supply. I'm, although not right this second, in terms of 
the equipment I have to my name, I'm still maxed out with all of them, so I'm not concerned about raising those two skills right now. Once he turns around, we can get him. Well, somebody saw us. I don't care so much about that. The mechanic you'll notice is not an enemy. Well, I vote we just wait right here. Although I can't seem to drop the body here. Let's go underground instead. We'll have to explore these tunnels, too, to make sure we've got everything, but I'm not terribly concerned right now. Still have no use for the auto shotgun, or the assault shotgun, or the knife. Now that he's settled, and we're out of range of all the troopers, let's talk to him. You're Denton. I thought you were dead. Leave me out of it. You're gonna bring the troops down here. I just want to stay out of the way. Hey, I just work on the bots. If you're looking for hardware, talk to Sven. They'll keep this level sealed off with a code. There's no way out. I just want to stay out of the way. Smart man, just wanting to stay out of the way, I mean. There are plenty of guards on the upper levels, too. And eventually bots as well. I have no good way to deal with that bot right now. Bioelectric cell and a scram... A scramble grenade is only good if there are multiple bots around. Because it... As you know, it makes, or should know, it makes robots fight each other. Let's head upstairs and see what we can find. I know there are troopers up here. about what I expected. So I think the better choice is probably to make the run all the way around. Like this. Then get behind him right here. The hope be always being, of course, to manage to take him down with the baton. I want to save prod chargers. That's the one. That's one down. Check the area. I want to save prod chargers because we've already seen a few. But, uh... MIBs and, uh... We haven't seen them yet, but Commandos, we won't be able to get with the Baton. We will need prod ammo to take care of them. I see that the alarm is still ringing. Watch bad it. Guy. He hasn't gone far. 
He's trying to run through another alarm. Foolish of him, really. So, in a sniper rifle, a knife, and an assault rifle. I have no interest in any of those. So that should... That should pretty well handle all the guards here, I think. Let's head up to the third floor of the robot maintenance bay. We do still have that security bot down there to worry about, but I have no really good, effective way of taking it down yet. He's going to see me. I may have to... Oh, no, he's not. That's him. Good. If he's not going to see me, then... It's dead. Remember the breathing. Okay, let's do the thing work on this one. Ah, <sighs> come on now. It's dead. Remember the breathing. Not dead. Anyone else hungry? This is annoying me, to say the least. There we go. Yeah, low tech to master. Make my baton more reliable. Nothing back there. Now that really should be everybody, I think. Inside the bay, except the robots, of course. So up here, we got assault rifle ammo and a data cube. Janine's bots, specs, and overview. Page Bravo 3 Peacebringer. The Page Industries Bravo 3 Peacebringer is an affordable security and patrol bot that combines a bipedal frame with an air-cooled minigun that utilizes the 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO round. While the AI is limited in its capabilities, it is more than adequate to the needs of most security and many military forces around the world. Having been deployed in such troubled hotspots as Hong Kong, Chicago, New York, Buenos Aires, New Delhi, Moscow, and Paris, like almost all bots designed to maneuver in urban environments, the Bravo 3 employs a radar imaging system for situational awareness. But unlike previous models in the Peacebringer line, the Bravo 3 is now equipped with a razor thorn signal processor for target acquisition. Organizations or facilities in need of heavier bot armament often turn to the larger Delta 2 Peacebringer, equipped with thicker armor and missiles. We can just roll through here now. Drawn everybody else down. Here's the security terminal. Tack it open. We can reprogram the AI of the bots, but I don't want to do that because I don't want them killing people. There are some a couple of EMP grenades. That's what we need. Let's just get in behind the homes here. Hopefully he'll be stupid and run for the alarm panel. Or just go down. That's even easier. Another assault rifle, another knife. Blah, blah. Two EMP grenades. That's what we need. A data cube. Hey, Martin, there's been some kind of security snafu, so all the codes have been changed until further notice. Blanket orders from a new guy I haven't seen before, an agent of some sort. The new armory code is 2971, but don't let that get around. I just wanted you to have access in case the bots get twitchy again. That last OS upgrade seemed a bit shaky, and that makes me nervous when applied to walking gun platforms. Peter. Alright, let's see what's on here. No email today. Alright, that's easy. So now, EMP grenade in hand. We can disable that security bot down at the lower level. Oh. That was not sufficient. I need to land it a little. I need to make the land the throw a little bit better, believe it or not. So, let me try again. See, it bounced into the corner all the way behind it. 
disable. That's what you like to see. These bots are inactive, so I'm not worried about them. Let's get down to ground level now. Although this... Over here we find an assault rifle ammo and a multi-tool. This is just the other stairway up. Where did the mechanics go? And I guess they ran off when I tossed the grenade. I've already talked to one of them, but... Still need to speak to the other if I can. Now, I don't think an EMP grenade is sufficient to take out one of these larger military bots. Although it might be. There's some TNT crates down here, too, that I'll need to keep in mind. But I only have one EMP grenade anyway, so even if it does work, I'll need an alternate method of taking out the other bot. That did not disable it, as you can see, although I don't think that was a very good throw anyway. That wasn't either. Okay. You can see these are these are called military bots, I think. Okay. And they tote missile launchers. Let me try one more time. I just too far in front. I want to. Get it right under its feet if I can. That was really close, but I don't think it'll cut it. Yep, no dice. Let's see if a little TNT can finish the job. These things are tough to take down. Let's try and just get around it. So the armory code is 2971. Guy in a code, I'm checking it out. So we got 150 skill points for making it in here. Have to worry about the camera, of course, and the guard as well. I mean, he had an assault rifle and a knife. Wahoo. I need to shut off that camera before I do anything else. I think there's a security computer up here. Yes, there it is. Let's hack into this bad boy. Huh, we can deactivate the armory bots right there, and we can also shut off the camera. Beautiful. That's what you like to see. Now, I don't think there's anything else out here on the perimeter. So with them shut down, we're free to regain all of our equipment, so... I'm going to drop everything I've picked up so far, and then see what I still have room for 
when I pick things back up. Our equi your, whatever equipment you had with you, you'll find on the shelves in here. I'm even gonna try and pick it up in order so my hotkeys turn out right, so... Where's my pistol? There it is. Then, two... What was it, two? Two was my rod, which is up here. And just get him to highlight it. Come on now. Come on. The stuff on the top shelves is annoying. Let's just use the metal crate. That'll simplify matters considerably. Three was my med kits, which are right there. Four was my crossbow. Five was my baton. Six was my lockpicks. Seven was my multi-tools. Eight was my bioelectric cells. And nine was my gas grenades. Now I can pick up everything else. So my lambs, my zyme, Come on now. My scramble grenades, my upgrade canisters, my get gun. Anything else on the top shelf here? Nope. And my EMP grenades. Oh no. It did take away all of my grenade ammo. It only gave me one of each. So, over here, I'll take the scramble grenade, the EMP grenade, the med kit, the prod should be ammo, cannot carry, the pistol should also be ammo, can't carry any more multi-tools, lockpicks, or bio cells, and the baton is also useless. But we've got everything back now, so let's see what else is in here. Lamb, assault shotguns, assault rifles, Assault rifle ammo. There's a law on the wall if you want it. A sniper rifle on the desk. Let's check out the computer. From A. Greer, subject plasma gun, Dr. Alabeck. Your facility is one of the first to receive our new production model plasma gun. As you know, this weapon will be phased into use first by our special operations teams. That's interesting. Then by selected elements of our military and security organization over the next month. As one of our leading weapons researchers in North America, we are certainly interested in any opinions you might have regarding its combat effectiveness. Attached, you should find the full technical specifications. Please feel free to correspond with me directly if you have any further questions. The code for the security container is 5239, Aston Greer, Director of Security, MJ-12. Alright, so let's head upstairs now. Let's go ahead and enter 5239 to open this up. I'm not interested in the plasma rifle, but it's there if you want it. That's very, very nice looking, actually. 
So we've got some prod ammo, flare darts, regular darts, sniper rifle ammo, mini crossbow, rockets, and two weapon mods, a silencer and a range mod. Looks like I have nothing to use the silencer on, but I can put the range mod on my crossbow, which is what I'm gonna do. The accurate range is up to 65 feet. That's wonderful. Over here, you can go ahead and pick up the pistol because that just translates into ammo. There's a sawed off shotgun, buckshot, pistol ammo, flamethrower ammo, and I think we're done. So now that we're significantly beefier with our equipment back, let's head to the med lab next so we can rescue Paul. I was very pleased to hear that Paul was alive. Oh, there are the two mechanics. I figured they had run away. You're Denton. Get out of the way. We have enough to worry about. Trouble with the bots? Of course. Just look. Only one is operational, and they want us to deploy. I know a thing or two about bots. Why don't you give me the security login and I'll see what I can do? Ha! Good one. You don't exactly blend in, okay? I know that you're the one they caught, and now you're trying to escape. So? You gonna sound the alarm? Maybe we could swing a deal, huh? You want the security login? 500 credits. I also have 762 millimeter ammo for 600. Or what about an accuracy weapon mod? 750. I'll check back with you later. I think I'm close to maxing out. I'm on your side. What do you want to buy? I'm close to maxing out accuracy, so I want to save to make sure I can use the mod. Give me the accuracy weapon mod for 750. I wish I was coming too. They've had me locked up here for months. Can still use it on my pistol. All right. Base accuracy is up to 87% now. That's cool. All right, let's check the underground area at least if we head east toward robot maintenance. You can see it takes off north that way. Over here we find a dead cat. Here's one ladder up. Which I actually probably do need to use this grate, but not now. I need to take down some other people before I go after that MIB. We head this way past the rats. Find several more grates. I think all of them are still inside the nanotech lab. There's nothing actually down here. Alright, let's head the other way from the initial entrance. We turn west instead. We should get another message from Daedalus, I think. You are beneath the command center. Yes, that's what I thought. Just a couple more grates. Actually, back up to a reasonable supply of tranquilizer darts. That's handy <laughs> for sure. Yes, here's the command center. I 
might as well go ahead and clear it out, because I have to eventually anyway. It can be tough to do, though. Definitely works out to your benefit to tranquilize the dogs. Hey, stop right there! Aim for the head. Oh, oh. Damn. I don't think I hit it. Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Good. There are two dogs in there. I prefer to tranquilize them because it it kills them anyway, which is unfortunate, but they don't rush for the alarm like other baddies do. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I got it, but I better make sure. Yes, I did. Good. Alright, let's get... I want to get the top level guy next if I can. Uh-oh. I never saved after dropping the other dog, either. Alright, now I just have guys left. I have eight Trank Darts, which I'm going to hold on to for now. There are four people. There's one, one guy in the center, one guy patrolling the lower level, and one guy on each side of the top level. I want to get the top level guys first. At least one of them. This one. Company, watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. hope for a little bit better performance from the baton. I still haven't figured out what makes or breaks it. Oh, Remember the briefing. But I do know that if we manage the one hit drop, it'll be silent. Like that. Silence is golden. No room for the assault rifle, but he did give me a combat knife, so that's nice. Let's get back to a safe spot. I think I can just leave the body where it is. Alright, one down, three to go. Gotta be careful of the detention camera, of course. Let's get the, the other top level guy next. That'll probably work best. I will not provide the exit code at this time. Go to the medical area. Tracer tone requires Paul Denson's data vault. 
too slow. Bogey! Yeah, I'll be better off waiting at the entrance and getting him after he turns around. guy first just because he ranges over the entire area and I think my life will be significantly easier with him down another stupid knife let's lose that it's more in the loss of my lambs gas grenades and EMP grenades should have just used them I should be able to get to the top, other top level guy fast enough. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Let's drop that knife. Now let's go after the guy in the middle. With all the others down, he's a piece of cake. to time him well. Let's go ahead and get that message from Daedalus again. I will not provide the exit code at this time. Go to the medical area. Tracer tone requires Paul Denson's data vault. <laughs> Got him. Assault shotgun, which I don't have room for. Uh, the command center is clear now, so let's grab the gas grenade. Let's hack the security terminal. Turn the camera off in the surgery ward, the nanotech lab, and the detention area. It's all very handy. Assault rifle, assault rifle ammo, assault rifle ammo. Nothing that great. You saw the grates in there, or where we would have popped up. So, all that's left to explore are the laboratories. So let's head this way. My goodness, Mr. Denton, did you escape? Yeah, how do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day. I have cells from your body and culture. Your brothers too. My brother? Is he nearby? They have him in the medical area. Agent Denton, believe me, I share your fury at the skill switch functionality. Do you know Paul? Only from his disuse. The guards want me to figure out why your bodies tolerate the nanites. A damn hard question, I'm sorry to say. Do me a favor, play dumb. They know enough already. I try. Oh, how I try. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot once, thank you. But good luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. Maybe you'd like to see your brother. I would. Thank you very much. So we get a note. Medical area code 0199. I just came from the medical area. It's down the hall. His name is Dr. Moreau. Scientists are not allowed to leave this level. That's clever. In three years, I haven't figured out who I'm working for. It's not you, Natko. Not directly. Paramilitary types run the place. They seem to have international ties. Mr. Denton, I wish you luck. Mr. Denton, I wish you luck. Alright, here's the nanotech lab. None of the scientists are a problem, but troopers are. I want this com supply crate, but they'll hear me break it open if I bust it right here, so... Let's run it back out to the command center and break it open there. 
A gas grenade. Handy. There's a trooper. Two scientists. There's a trooper up here, too. Oh! But he went for the alarm, which is always a stupid move. Although now someone else is after me. Found some tranquilizer. Found some tranquilizer darts. Always a useful. He has resumed his normal patrol now. I don't really care about that shot because, as you probably noticed, there's a medbot ro roaming around this room right now. So, let's just go nail the other trooper. Which I think will be pretty easy if I go through this door. Hey, find somewhere else to hide. Ooh. I have to run away now, because the... I got the MIB after me. I do want to talk to all these scientists. Visual contact has been ah! Always takes three shocks to drop one of them. And you have to prod them, it's the only way to knock them out. So I got an MIB agent cabinet key, a stealth pistol, useless, and a knife, useless. Put him down, I think... The nanotech lab is clear. Let's talk to the other scientists now. I'm in the middle of something. I said I'm not getting involved. Don't make me call the guards. Don't make me call the guards. You see, inside the cages, those green things are called greasels. You don't want to mess with them if you can help it. Very nearly died. It's like I survived at least one headshot. So let's talk to this gal. D don't worry. No one here is going to call the guards. If I was trying to escape, I'd use the air conditioning ducts. Good luck. I hope you make it. D don't worry. No one here is going to call the guards. We don't want any trouble with the troops. Dr. Moreau tried to escape once, but he got shot in the leg. If you insist on bothering us, talk to Moreau. He knows the code to the medical area. If you insist on bothering us, talk to Moreau. Now, I'm not sure where Moreau ran off to, but I think that's everybody I need to talk to in this first room. Which is pretty good, all things considered. So let's move into the second room now. Two more scientists to talk to. I'll do that first. He doesn't want to talk. What about you? Mr. Denton, I wish you luck. Well, there's Dr. Moreau. So we got some tranquilizer darts here. Got a med kit in there. 
There's a book. Lab notes, Dr. Moreau, week of 412 to 418. Sunday, 412. Lab net accounts are disabled. Rumor is possible infiltration attempt by silhouette required redistribution of secure network resources. Will transcribe lab notes by hand until IS has restored access. Monday, 413. Greasel's displaying an increasing level, level of antipathy towards lab personnel. Noted to Dr. Verne, who increased dosage of succinylcholine from 15cc to 32cc. Wednesday, 415. IS promises that lab net accounts will be restored by Friday. New login is dmoreau with password raptor. Thursday, 416. Dr. Cairns typically absent-minded. Forgot his protective gear when handling Greasel and received a dose of venomous spit in the face. Fortuitous opportunity to study effects on human nervous system, which included impaired coordination and vision. So now we know the login and password. Demoreau, password Raptor. We can open the Greasel. We can release the Greasels, which I don't want to do, but we can also open the containment field, which I do want to do. Email from D. Elmwood, subject, Karkian Bio Eval. Dr. Moreau, I must request yet again that you forward me the results of your study on Greasel Venom Toxicity with reference to the Karkian neurological cultures I have previously provided you with so that I can conclude my bioevaluation. This delay on your part could be construed as a lack of enthusiasm for our research goals. Sincerely, Dr. Elmwood. Opening the containment field lets you get this augmentation canister which can add aggressive defense system or spy drone. This goes into your cranial slot. Aggressive defense system. Occupy slot cranial. Aerosol nanoparticles are released upon the detection of objects fitting the electromagnetic threat profile of missiles and grenades. These nanoparticles will prematurely detonate such, ob such objects prior to reaching the agent. Tech 1, the range at which incoming rockets and grenades are detonated is short. Tech 2, the range at which detonation occurs is increased slightly. Tech 3, the range at which detonation occurs is increased moderately. Tech 4, rockets and grenades are detonated almost before they are fired. Energy rate 10 units per minute, current level 1 can upgrade. Or, spy drone. Occupy slot cranial. Advanced nanofactories can assemble a spy drone upon demand, which can then be remotely controlled by the agent until released or destroyed, at which point a new drone will be assembled. Further upgrades equip the spy drones with better armor and a one-shot EMP attack. Tech 1. The drone can take little damage and has a very light EMP attack. Tech 2. The drone can take minor damage and has a light EMP attack. Tech 3. The drone can take moderate damage and has a medium EMP attack. Tech 4. The drone can take heavy damage and has a strong EMP attack. Energy rate 150 units per minute, current level 1 can upgrade. I'm gonna take Spy Drone, for sure. Spy Drone is the first one that's definitely worth upgrading, but I think I'd still like to hold on to my upgrade canisters for now. Because it's not the top priority for upgrades. Finally, let's read the two data cubes in here. Image, Walton Simons. Interesting. Walton Simons, augmented system, CK82144, human. Height, 181 centimeters, weight, 88 kilograms. A, nanite aerosol reservoir allows remote detonation of explosives. B, cloak unit provides partial invisibility. C, monomolecular plates provides ballistic protection. D, optical targeting system. E, modified keratin yields full resistance to flame, good resistance to gas and energy. Good to know. What about the other data cube? Here's that greasel dissection chart you wanted. Dr. Verne. Got another image. Versalife GMO CK42316, greasel. Height 53 centimeters, wings 132 centimeters, weight 26 kilograms. A. Hypertrophic wings aid running and swimming, 6.7 meters per second, 2.2 meters per second. B. Spitting cobra morphology, attack range 6.7 meters. C. Claw structure, homeotics patent number 66349. D. Muscle enhanced with V-actin, patent number 01455. E. Congenital limbic damage yields behavioral irregularities. Alright. Now... Let's open up this vent, because it's one we haven't seen yet. Or, it's a new vent system we haven't been to yet, rather. T 
to the left is a ladder, and I think that's where we actually want to go, but... Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. So let's head down this ladder. We need to be wary down here because there's a greasel about. You get a hundred skill points for coming down here. I wonder what this is. Okay, it's just a nook to hide in. I have no qualms with killing Greasels, so let's go ahead and do it. Well, now nah, let's let's tranquilize it. I think the tranquilizer darts still ultimately kill it, and if I remember right, it'll take two darts instead of one to completely drop it. They take two darts to drop, and it still just kills them, so... Yeah, I might as well just kill them. Same with Dobermans, but... Plasma Clip! And Ballistic Armor. Obviously, the main reason we came down here was the 100 skill points. 3563. Now, the very last thing to do is open these drawers. The key we got off of the MIB will open them, except apparently for that one. So we open this one, it's got a multi-tool inside. <laughs> This one is empty. This one has a data cube. MJ-12 Cyber Information Warfare Division. Your request for logins and passwords was completed at 1834-23. A. Jacobson, Calvo. A. Navaris, Scrys PC. G. Herman, Zietgeist. JCD, Bionic Man. J. Manderly, Knight underscore Killer. J. Reed, Red Shoes. J. Reyes, Amigo. K. Lloyd, Target. S. Carter, Antique. MJ-12 CWD. Ipsa Scientia Potestas Est. Carbon Unit 6, since you gave us the translation of the earlier Latin, I'd love it if you'd hit us up with that again. In the meantime, let's pick open the one we couldn't get into. I know there are lockpicks lying around. There's another data cube. Agent Sherman. As requested, the patient has been moved to the surgery ward for immediate salvage of his data vault. If you wish to observe the progress of the operation in person, the door code for surgery is 0199. Or if you wish to view the operation remotely, you may use the temporary account we've created for you. Login P. Sherman and password Raven. Please let me know if myself or my staff can provide you with any further assistance. JM. Alright, that's it for in here. Spy Drone is really good when it's fully upgraded because it's basically... You can turn your bio energy into full strength EMP grenades, except you can steer them remotely, which is awesome. Is he armed? It's Denton. We aren't taking any chances. <gasps> I hope nobody gets hurt. We've got him penned in. You won't get far. What about this area? Is it safe? Long as I'm with you. He gets out and walks, and if I remember right, he comes this way. But... Is he armed? It's Denton. We aren't taking any chances. 
<gasps> I hope nobody gets hurt. We've got him penned in. He won't get far. What about this area? Is it safe? Long as I'm with you. So he... Just because I know that he's going to turn and face the window, I... am much better prepared to handle him. So when he makes that turn, I should be able to get the drop on him with my baton. He's got a combat knife and some cigarettes. Now the secretary, we actually will have to take down. She's armed with a riot prod. We got a prod charger from her. Awesome. So... Let's drop all that. Let's read this book. Project Dybbuk. We've got that all. Oh no, this is a different one. Project Dybbuk. SH-187 specifications and operation. Domination 5F clearance only. The goal of Project Dybbuk was to create a long-range, variable, mission-capable rotary aircraft realized to its fullest extent in the SH-187... Oh, we, no, we have read that already. I'm sorry. Let's try P. Sherman Raven. Let's see if that works here. No. Let's just hack it then. No email today. There's nothing else in this room either, I don't think. Those two beasties are called Karkians. Another trooper up here. Let's handle him real quick. It's so nice if they go for the alarm, because that way, even if you screw up going for the one shot, you get to take him down. So on this side, we've got security terminal. There are two guards down there. Now we can unleash the Karkians on them. I think hitting this switch does that, so let's see what the security computer has for me. Can turn off a camera. That's all I really want to do. I don't want to open the door. Because that would be killing those two guards with Karkians. There's another baton up here and a data cube. Captain Hernandez, we are in the process of ghosting all network security resources to provide additional protection against possible intrusion or denial of service attacks. Until this process is complete, all security computers will be utilizing a temporary system. Login MJ12, password invader, Agent Sherman. Right. Hey, stop right there. Company got you. I think I'm gonna have to trank those guys. Since they're perched together. Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. We're gonna need some reinforcements. Here's the surgery board. I was hoping, the reason I just kind of stood there like an idiot is because I was hoping that, you know, we, the tranquilizer would kick in to the point where the guy runs away, but obviously not quite there yet. No matter, I survived, and we've got the med bot. That's all you ever need. So let's hit, let's see what's through this vent. I'm pretty sure, oh, yeah, you can burn a lockpick and get into the surgery board that way. But we know the code. 0199. 500 skill points for getting in here. Yes, that is a lot. 4,063. Two containers of ambrosia. You see two doctors, a nurse, and a very much alive Paul Denton. Let's read the data cube. Prospectus, Series P Agents, proposal by Dr. Arthur Donovan, Versa Life slash HK. 
The Series P agents are the logical continuation of research resulting from the Series N, the development of a human agent with enhanced capabilities and absolute loyalty, but without the non-standard appearance of mechanical augmentation or the unpredictability of nano-augmentation. Like the Series N, the strength and speed of the Series P should be substantially above baseline, while new conditioning techniques will result in minimal pain response. We conservatively predict a Series P agent would be 78% more effective in combat than a normal operative without any form of augmentation. Key features from the Series N agent will also be carried over, including the self-termination mechanism. An ingenious variation on the kill switch, the self-termination mechanism is wired into the autonomous nervous system of an agent. If mortally wounded, the mechanism will activate and explode, eliminating any evidence of the agent and damaging nearby hostiles. However, we are still continuing in our attempts to isolate the source of the albino traits present ever since the Series L. But so far, the simple addition of sunglasses and dark clothing appear to have resolved the matter in a practical fashion. So, let's talk to the nurse. You won't get far. They've locked the doors. He's perfectly okay. Look for yourself. We have a lot to learn from this examination. Please, let us get on with our work. You won't get far. They've locked the doors. Let's talk to the two doctors. This one doesn't want to talk. Neither does this one. Another data cube here. Surgical pre-evaluation. Subject, Paul Denton. Subject shows a number of departures from nominal baseline physiology, including a noted absence of all H-type epsilon immunoglobin proteins, which would seem to be related to his ability to tolerate nano-augmentations that are typically rejected by the vast majority of the population. Of particular interest is that the subject tests positive for the Gray Death, yet shows no apparent symptoms or adverse effects. Oh my god, he escaped? I sure did. I'm afraid your brother has about 18 hours to live. Wish I had better news. Well now he's talking. If they've activated your own kill switch mechanism, you might have as long as 24. Walton Simons wants us to study the tissue damage. I don't exactly like what happened, but I guess they've got to think about international security. I'm afraid your brother has about 18 hours to live. Wish I had better news. This one still won't talk to me. Let's check the vent right quick before we actually talk to Paul. Just want to make sure there's there aren't any goodies inside here that I could have picked up had I burned the lockpick to come through the grate. Nope, nothing. All right, good. <coughs> Roll down here. And let's talk to Paul. Nothing else to find in here, unfortunately. Paul, are you alright? What are they doing to you? I'm like the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. They want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach Unatco level 3. Some of those guys are on our side. Alright, but you better make it. By the way, be on the lookout for Anna. She came by the cell block. Anna, there's something you should know about mechs. They have kill switches too. Only theirs are instantaneous. Interesting. I guess mechs have us beat on one count. A kill phrase, they call it. The NSF learned that Anna's is stored in two pieces on two separate UNACO computers with the login Demiurge and password Archon. But I never managed to find it. Thanks for the tip. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. See you in Hong Kong. Data vault image sent to Tracer Tong. Please leave the facility. At least one of you must survive. The code to the exit door is 1125. You shouldn't be back here. So it gave me notes and a new secondary facility exit, 1125. Anna Navarra's skill kill phrase is stored in two pieces on two computers, each with the login Demiurge and the password Archon. Secondary goal, find Anna Navarra's kill phrase. It is stored in two pieces on two computers, each with the login Demiurge and the password Archon. 
excuse me. Sorry for that. Let's talk Paul to death and then go. I'll slip out on my own. We're beneath Unatco headquarters. The exit doors lead to Reyes's office. Tong can protect us. We just have to get to Hong Kong. We don't want any trouble with the guards. You better get out of here. I'll make it. I promise. You better get out of here. If they've activated your own kill switch mechanism, you might have as long as... We don't want any it. trouble with the guards. Okay, he's got the same voice set as the other guys, so... Let's get out of here. The place is clear, so... I'm gonna run all the way back to the armory. Just so I can get the lockpick. That I left there. That's the cell block. We have to go back there, too, to rescue our friend Miguel. Can't forget about him. All the way back here. Lockpick. Thank you. I have not forgotten about Miguel, but inside Unatco HQ, there's still plenty of hostiles to deal with as well, so I want to take all of them down because all Miguel has is a knife. If he gets into a fight with pretty much anybody, he's going to be toast. Alright, 1125. There is one other uh, MJ-12 trooper we've still got to nail. But he just sits here and stares. Can't have that. Watch yourself, this one's some kind of mech. God. Oh. Oh. Tranquilizer dart, knife, candy bar, useless. Let's just go visit the med bot again. Cheesy? Yeah, maybe. But I don't care much. Actually, let's just visit the med bot in Reyes' office. It's on our way out anyway. But, let's hack this computer before we do anything else. No email today. Now, I also need to make sure I can... I actually don't think I can get back in here now that I think about it, so I need to go get Miguel now. That's right, once I go through the door, I can't operate the retinal scanner to get back in here. visit this med bot. And let's retrieve our buddy. Make a run for it. Now what? Stay close. Okay. He should follow me now. And I think I can just tell him to wait after I get through that door. I got you covered. Alright. Get ready, folks, because we are about to begin you lead. our final visit to Unatco headquarters. That's right. I'm going to keep it as part of the same section. It's right through here. I'm ready for business. I got you covered. Got 200 skill points for making it here. So 
I'm up to 4263. Please exit to the helipad. Potential encounters include Jaime Reyes, Sam Carter, Alex Jacobson, Joseph Manderley, and Anna Navarro. Lock and load! Damn. I was worried about that, I have to admit. I never saved after getting Miguel either. Cripes. I should have just zapped him with the prod, but it's getting too stingy. Be careful. Medbot. Pal. Now what? Stay close. Got me covered with your knife. I got you covered. Good, he's with me. Please exit to the helipad. Potential encounters include Jaime Reyes, Sam Carter, Alex Jacobson, Joseph Manderley, and Anna Navarra. You need. That gives me a new primary goal: escape from Yanatko and go to the helipad. And I'm up to 4263. I'm ready for points. business. Okay, let's head out here. Let's go. Okay, I want to just stash Miguel in this corner. Now what? Wait here. Handle everybody. There's one. Nice and easy. Damn. All right, let's run a little faster. Should be able to get up to him in time. That's what you like to see. Just a knife. There's Jaime. We've still got the key to this door. The med kit. Let's check his office. We've read that already. First, let's read his email. J. Reyes, password amigo. From WS, subject, kill switch evaluation. With your impressive grasp of nano augmentation, I thought it appropriate that you should participate in the evaluation of J.C. Denton's kill switch. It's unfortunate when situations such as this occur, particularly when they involve agents with the obvious talents and abilities of the Denton brothers. But given the need to protect civilians from potential rogue operatives, I'm sure you'll understand the necessity of developing a more effective kill switch, something similar to the instantaneous kill phrases installed in all our mechanically augmented agents. Please contact Agent Sherman for the evaluation methodology. Now let's try Demiurge Archon. It is not one of the computers. All right. Let's get Miguel again, now that that one trooper is taken care of. I'll keep my eyes peeled. 
Now what? Stay close. I'm just looking to minimize the distance I have to go to retrieve him at every different step of this operation. So. I got you covered. Let's leave him. Let's leave him back here. You lead. Come back here, dude. There we go. Now what? Wait here. All right. Let's talk to Jaime now. JC, you escaped? Is that what lockdown's about? I forgot to give Manderly my resignation. I heard they killed Paul. MIB's raided the apartment, but he's alive. He's going to slip out on his own. Manderly's a snake. He told me they were going to leave your brother alone. What can I do to help? If you tell him to meet you in Hong Kong, he'll give you an augmentation upgrade canister. It's much better to have him stay here. Stay here. I could use an ally inside UNATCO. Good idea. I can keep you informed. Do that, but be careful. You know what they do to spies. I will. By the way, the lab finally sent the augmentation canister I ordered. The one on the counter? Can your bots do the installation? Yeah, it was going to be a welcome aboard present. Guess it will have to be a retirement gift. We're under a lockdown. You'll need to find a key to the front doors. I'll keep my eyes open. That's a pretty significant upgrade. It will either protect against energy attacks or enable rapid self-repair of your tissues. That's a pretty significant upgrade. It will either protect against energy so attacks this one or has, enable uh, rapid self-repair of your tissues. Regeneration or energy shield. That's an obvious choice for me. I'm going to get regeneration as soon as I find the bot. But energy shield. Occupy slot torso. Polyaniline capacitors below the skin absorb heat and electricity, reducing the damage received from flame, electrical, and plasma attacks. Tech 1, damage from enemy energy attacks is reduced slightly. Tech 2, damage from energy attacks is reduced moderately. Tech 3, damage from energy attacks is reduced significantly. Tech 4, an agent is nearly invulnerable to damage from energy attacks. Energy rate 40 units a minute, current level 1, can upgrade. Or, Regeneration occupies slot, torso. Programmable polymerase automatically directs construction of proteins in injured cells, restoring an agent to full health over time. Tech 1, healing occurs at a normal rate. Tech 2, healing occurs at a slightly faster rate. Tech 3, healing occurs at a moderately faster rate. Tech 4, healing occurs at a significantly faster rate. Energy rate 120 units per minute, current level 1, can upgrade. I'm gonna take Regeneration. I'm still gonna hold my upgrade canisters. I'm saving them for cloak. When I finally get it, getting it to tech four is my careful. highest priority. After that, I think I'll wanna raise, upgrade my power recirculator. And then after that, it'll be regeneration. Or maybe even spy drone might beat regeneration. I don't know. So let's cross the hall here and visit Alex. But before we do, there's a trooper out here somewhere. Let's knock him out. I think he's out in this main room. Nope. Where did he get to? Sounds like he might be down in uh, the jail area. That's fine. Oh, he's in the bathroom. No problem there. He's got a knife. Let's check the ladies' room again. Uh oh. There is one down there, I thought so. We'll check the ladies' room after I handle him. Quick save and... Ooh, lock and roll! <laughs> 
As long as I don't die with a med bot right there, I don't really care about getting shot. Pow. Now I can check the women's room. I don't think there's anything inside it, though. No. Alright, let's talk to Alex first. Let's read his email, A. Jacobson Calvo. From Rosie Cross, subject, read, inquiry. The Oracle says, Initial analysis of entity token MJ-12 also reference entity tokens Majestic, Majestic-12, Majestic Council of 12, They Who Rule the World in Majesty, MJID, yields confusing results that must be further refined through additional pattern analysis would appear to be related to entity token Illuminati and other self-organizing institutions that seek to affect global change through localized alteration of socio-political systems. Extant records dating back 837 years are extensive, but subject to a number of valid curve-fitting functions that render speculation as to possible motive or overall goals only 27.3% accurate. We dislike this ambiguity and will work to clarify prior to final report. The Oracle would like to know what you think of the color blue. So now let's try a Demiurge Archon. This is not one of the computers. Alright. Let's talk to Alex. JC, I've been watching you through your info link. A harrowing escape. Thanks for tuning in. You're gonna need a key to get out of UNAFCO. We're under lockdown. I'd give it to you, but I don't know. Anna's on patrol. If she found out... I'll take care of Anna. I think I have to play it safe. If you can get rid of her, I'll give you the key and maybe I can escape myself. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep my head down. Sorry, JC. Neither of us is gonna get very far as long as Anna is around. I'll see what I can do. That's all he'll say, so... Our, uh... We've got two new primary goals, which are... Eliminate Anna Navara, and when Anna Navara is dead, see Alex for a key to the exit. Anna is... I haven't made up my mind about Gunther. Probably not, because you can run away from him. But, uh... Anna Navara is the one required kill in the game. There is a way around it. You can trick her into opening the door and never get the key from Alex, but that relies on using a glitch. And you're supposed to have to kill her, so for story reasons. Gunther wants revenge because you killed Anna, blah de blah de blah so we'll go ahead and kill Anna with the kill phrase. That's the most refined way to do it. The designers intended to force you to kill her anyway, so... If we head down here, we get a credit shit with a whopping 600 credits on it. That's kind of awesome. Down here, I don't think there's anything on Alex's desk this time around. We can get into his closet, like usual, with the code 2001. Where we find a biocell and a lockpick. Alright, let's go visit the jail next. First, as far as the office goes, we can find... Assault rifle ammo and sniper rifle ammo. The computer. Let's read Gunther's email first. G. Herman, password Zeitgeist. Let's us in here. <laughs> Decrypt agent G. Herman kill phrase. Kill phrase not available, awaiting installation. But if we look at the email, he's got no email. Let's do A. Navara next. A. Navara, password Scry's PC. Nothing. Okay, let's do Demiurge Archon. Just because that's the way we're supposed to do it. Decrypt Agent A. Navara Kill Phrase. Kill Phrase Part 2 of 2 Decrypted. Woman. Now let's hack it just to make sure that Gunther and Nana's accounts are actually empty with no email. G. Herman. Okay, yeah, Anna's account is gone. That's weird. Let's go down to the jail. I think there are a couple of troopers down here. I don't think there's actually anything important, but...
Probably gonna have to trank these guys. Hey, hold it! Hold it! That ought to do for both of them. Yeah, there he goes. A knife. And an assault rifle. Tranquilizer darts. That's what you like to see. There's a book on the desk. We've read it already. There's nothing in the prison. So now let's go to Sam Carter. General Carter. We've been through that soldier, just Carter. I've discovered some things about Unatco. I'm unlocking the armory. I don't want to know where you're going, just load up. Walton Simons, the head of FEMA. I said load up. I don't want to hear about it. I'm going over to the Rebels. You should join me. Let's get one thing straight. We've got our share of crooked bureaucrats, fact. But this is still UNATCO, and by and large the people in this building are 24 karat gold. What good's an honest soldier if he can be ordered to behave like a terrorist? The only way to save the agency is for the good people to stay. That's how I see it. So Sam will open the armory for us. Load up. You've still got to break out of HQ. Pistol ammo, lockpick, stealth pistol, multi-tool. Some say concentrated power leads to abuse, but I believe that if an institution has a solid foundation, it can survive the narrow aspirations of the people it employs. We'll get this place back on track. We'll get this place back on track. Let's check his computer. S. Carter, password antique. From question, question, question. Subject, thank you. Your assistance in helping us to compromise UNATCO's security protocols was instrumental to your friend's escape. While we still do not know the identity of the person or persons calling themselves Daedalus, they have given us ample reason to believe that he will be an asset to the cause of freedom. It should go without saying that this message will erase itself before the security systems come back online. Any attempt to copy or archive it will fail. Minister of True Lies, Tandy Skills Dormen Nous Gagnerons. Someone we'll get who knows this place back on track. Someone who knows French wants to try and translate that stuff for me. That'd be great. Let's try Demiurge Archon here. Not one of them. Here's an upgrade canister. So now I will go ahead and upgrade regeneration to Tech 2. Assault rifle ammo, pistol ammo, fire extinguishers. But up here, we've got a range mod. I can still put on my crossbow, raising the accurate range to 70 feet. Fantastic. Is there anything on the very top shelves? I need to find out. No, good. So on here, we've got a recoil mod. Not that useful, but I can put it on my pistol. la di da Here's a rebreather. That's handy. I'm going to carry it with me. Nothing inside the cardboard boxes, nothing on the bottom shelf. 98%. Whatever. Pistol ammo, bio cell, get gun. Alright. Level 3 is clear. So I'm gonna hit the med bot again. Assuming I can find it. Now bring Make Miguel. a run for it. Gonna bring Miguel out of here and now what? To the stairwell. Stay close. I'll just leave him here. Once he gets to me. I got you covered. Now what? Wait here. All right. Let's. Head on up to level two.
When you go up to level one, you'll run into Anna, so don't do that yet. Let's open the storage closets. Inside this one, we find a bio cell. In here... There's a flare. You! Stop right there! I was worried about that. Hail this guy and we all get I think he might be gone. Yeah, I forgot about the guys in the break room. He gets away, Manderley's gonna have our ass. I think he might be gone. Let's handle the break room. Good news JC. is... Mandalay, it's JC. The cameras aren't hostile to us yet. Although I don't think I'll be able to get both of these guys. Oh, maybe I will. Lock and load! How do you like that? Engaging the air. Just like on the target range. God damn terrorist. There we got him. Knife and assault rifle, knife and assault shotgun. That's my rebreather. I think of at least one place where I will need it. It takes three picks to get in here, or an explosive. There's a plasma clip and some sabo shells. I have no use for any of that, so I'm not gonna bother. Got a guy watching TV in here, so let's take him down. Hold it! Okay, fan out. Check the area. Man, I really just want to get low tech to master, so. Lock and load! So that my baton is as reliable as it ought to be. There's one. Just like on the target range. Come on, game. Enough of this. God damn terrorist! Just like on the target range. This is killing me, folks. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this cloud. There we go. That's more like it. So, inside the break room itself, we find... Let's talk to Shannon first. Oh! JC! Carry on with your banking. I'm just taking one last look at the old place. Amazing if you think about it. All the hours I spent dreaming about working here. All the heroic fantasies when really this place is just a cinder block bunker with a carpet. My banking. Oh, yes. Never mind me. Go ahead and escape. I won't pull the alarm. Something wrong? Really, as long as you stay out of the way, I don't have any reason to hurt you. Okay, I admit it. I'm the one who's been stealing from HQ. It was me all along. Kaplan, the false floor in Alex's office, everything that's missing. It was me. I'm the last person who's gonna bust you for stealing. What'd you take? Anything I could use? I don't know. You sure you can keep it hush-hush? I found a few scrambler grenades I was gonna give Kaplan. Good against bots, you know, but you could take them. I have three, 1250 each. Nope. I'll pass. Let's hack the ATM one last time. Zero credits. Public access. Hong Kong in turmoil. Disseminate to all agents. In the last 24 hours, the political situation in Hong Kong has deteriorated rapidly, and local authorities seem powerless to contain the chaos. A recent hit on the Lucky Money Club by suspected members of the criminal Luminous Path Triad was only the opening salvo in an escalating war between unidentified members of local criminal organizations. 
Casualties have included not only targets of opportunity, but also government facilities and urban infrastructure. Both Hong Kong police and military are on heightened alert. As the situation develops and we receive further reports from UNATCO field ops, this information will be updated. So since I got shot up by those guys, I'm gonna run back down to the medbots right quick. Very nice. Be careful. All right, back up to level two. Let's go to Manderley's office next. How could you betray the coalition? How could you betray the coalition? Jay Reed, red shoes for her email. No email today. Let's I try. thought we were a family here. Let's try Demir Jarkon. Not one of the computers. Let's visit Manderley now. There's Walton. On the communicator. We've read that book already. You will be much happier at the Library of Congress. I can't control a man's mind. You aren't a commander, Manderley. We hoped you'd give you an an urbane diplomatic face, that's all. We screwed up our priorities. I refuse to be pushed into some obscure bureaucratic cubbyhole. Actually, I doubt you'll get the chance. Look around. Your star pupil has come back to teach a lesson to his old instructor. JC. I never had time to take the oath of service to the Coalition. How about this one? I swear not to rest until UNATCO is free of you and the other crooked bureaucrats who perverted its mission. Big words for a rookie. The only problem is that I've notified Agent Navarra of your escape. Trust me, she'll make sure you don't leave the facility alive. You can't run, Denton. Even if you escape, your kill switch is counting down. You'll be dead in 23 hours. Another 50 billion dollars down the drain. We'll see about that. So if you try to just leave, Manderley will tr get out a pistol and try to shoot you in the back. But let's talk to him. You Dendons sure hung us out to dry. You won't recognize you not going a few weeks. Simons will turn it into his own private army. I had struck a very careful balance between Washington and the public interest. It may never again be possible. Go on, make your getaway. Go on, make your getaway. We need to knock him out. <laughs> Knife and a pistol. No new messages. Anything in his bathroom? Nope. Let's get into his computer. J Manderley, night underscore killer. Let's check his email. From WS, subject disappointed. We are disappointed in your performance to date, particularly with regards to Travis Witsit. While both he and his brother were expendable, considerable time and effort was involved in their creation. Pending a more thorough post-mortem, we can only assume that your handling of them must bear part of the blame. We'll discuss this further in Hollow Conference, but until then I've given Agent Sherman full authority over UNATCO headquarters and MJ-12 facilities. I've also assigned Dr. Reyes to evaluate the performance of the kill switches for the nano-augmented agents. Maintain a close observation of him and report any inconsistencies in his behavior immediately. Further security breaches will not be tolerated. Let's do Demiurge Arcod now. G. Herman, still not available. A. Navarra, kill phrase part one of two decrypted, Flatlander. All right, we're ready to go see Anna now. Oh, it will never be the same. How could you betray the Coalition? Let's go to our office right quick. There's nothing inside, but if we log in, JCD, password, bionic man. From Daedalus, subject, get out. They are closing in on your position now. Exit the building as soon as possible, you must escape. All right, let's go upstairs and we'll run into Anna. I will have to kill you myself. 
Take your best shot, Flatlander woman. How did you know? So, Anna's down. Very good. I completed one of our goals. But let's uh, clear these two offices while we're up here. No one inside this one. That's good. Multi-tool and a data cube. Acoustic sound sensor. Design and specifications. The acoustic gunfire sensor has been deployed by a number of organizations throughout the world in those urban areas where it might otherwise be difficult to implement and maintain a pervasive security presence. Utilizing fairly rudimentary DSP algorithms, the sensor will trigger if any sound matching the profile of a gunshot occurs within the sensor's detection radius. Field tests in Hong Kong have shown them to be 88% accurate, with an overall 12% per decrease in crime within six months. Cheap and easy to install, acoustic gunfire sensors can be fitted to buildings, lampposts, or any other freestanding structure. We got a new image of what one of the gunfire sensors looks like. Gunfire sensor, Century Plaza, Hong Kong. Let's check the other office now. I think there is someone in there. Yep. I'm not sure if I can get up behind him yet either. Oh, I can. Good. That's what you like to see. He had a knife and an assault shotgun. Big whoop. We've read that already. Nothing under the desk. And uh, for the moment, the front door is locked. Infinite strength. So we have to get the key means we have to run back down to Alex. Let him know Anna's dead. You gave Anna exactly what she deserved. I've sat here and watched her kill dozens of suspects. Now I'm not so worried about sticking out my neck to give you this key. I think you've already stuck out your neck, Daedalus. What are you talking about? You haven't been contacting me under an alias? The link went down. At first I thought they'd executed you. Who else has access? Somebody cut the power to detention. I installed UNATCO security myself. It's unbeatable. You're starting to scare me. Not as much as you're scaring me. Who's Daedalus? And why does he want to rescue me? A better hacker than I. A trick like that? Well, it crossed my mind, I have to admit. I'm pretty disgusted with the agency right now. But I would have been caught. You wouldn't want to take that chance. No, but I can't just sit back and watch. You sound sincere. Maybe you should quit UNATCO. And do what? You can track me down in Hong Kong. I'm going to contact Tracer Tong and help the resistance. I might do that. Sure, I'll think about it. And I'm going to check into this mystery hacker. I'll check the logs. Maybe the Statalist didn't cover his tracks. You better get moving. You better get moving. Alright. We've got the key to level one now. So, let's roll. Not forget to grab our friend Miguel. Take Be him careful. upstairs. Now what? Stay close. Come on, bro. Let's get up these stairs. And out this door. I got you covered. Well, actually, I still have to. Uh, still have now to deal. What? deal with Scott. Wait here. So let's have him wait here while I do exactly that. Now Scott, I'm gonna have to, he's gonna rush me when he sees me leaving. Unless I can open this. Didn't think so. So I'm gonna get the prod out just so I can zap him when he comes for me. Terrorist. Alright, let's get him now. So we can finally get into Scott's room. There's nothing in here, though. Knife and an assault rifle. whoop de doo Alright, now let's grab Miguel one more time. Be careful. 
Now what? Stay close. Wave goodbye to you, Natco HQ. We're never coming back. At least not until the end of the vastly inferior Deus Ex Invisible War. You lead. 165 skill points for getting to this point. That's 4428. 72 to go. Alright, let's get through the map change. I got you covered. Okay, I'm gonna have him wait again. Now what? Wait here. Reason being, Private Lloyd is still up here. And we're gonna have to deal with him. Private Lloyd. Let's get him right quick. That was easy. Got a knife. Yahoo. His computer is, we finally know, K Lloyd password target. But it didn't even work. From Security Central, subject, full alert. We have an unspecified incident originating in the Unatco detention areas. All personnel are ordered to full alert status. Any and all suspicious activity is to be treated with utmost caution while armed response is sanctioned for unauthorized activity. I don't think there's anything left to do. I'll go grab Miguel again right quick. We'll finally take him all the way out with us. Be careful. Now what? Stay close. That should be the last time I need to get him. Can take him all the way out. Personnel without specific responsibility should consider themselves locked down until further notice. You lead. Alright, let's get out here. I don't think there's anyone outside, but it pays to be sure. Yeah, there's not. Let's see if we can't, uh... Oh, these cameras are hostile now. Alright, let's run to the comm van right quick. Because I'd like to loot it one last time. Oh, 0451. Oh, it looks like it's not going to let me shut off the cameras. Satcom, Unetco, 001. Yeah. Can't shut off the cameras. Doesn't matter anyway. There's a scramble grenade in here as well as pistol ammo. Although I do think I can open the hatch outside even if I can't mess with the cameras. Let me see. No, I can't. Darn. Well, we'll just have to see if this is worth a lockpick, won't we? EMP grenade. Yes, I'd say that's worth a lockpick. All right. Let's roll. I'm ready for business. How do you know to meet me? Daedalus. He called himself Daedalus. A friend of yours? Nope. I came because I owe your brother Paul a few favors. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Can you put me in contact with Tracer Tong? I know a place where we can touch down in the city, but Tong is very suspicious of foreigners. You'll have to earn the trust of your brother's allies. They'll know how to find Tong. Great. Let's go. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all the fuss. MJ-12 is a facility in Hong Kong and they'll be watching for us. Good luck, JC. I can make it on my own from here. See you later, Yanako.
Believe it or not, we aren't finished with New York City. We make one more visit to Hell's Kitchen before the end. Hong Kong, People's Republic of China, secret MJ-12 helicopter base, high atop the VersaLife building. This is an excellent place to call it a section, so... New beginning of level save, as always. Update the real save. Update the quick save. And call it good. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. That's it for now. Bye-bye.